Hey guys, it's Grand Admiral Thrawn, and in today's video, I'm doing things a little differently. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to be including price in my review of this figure, something I've never real actually done before. I've never taken the price of the figure to affect the figure, but in today's video, I will be doing that. So, you're probably wondering, hey, didn't you already do Moloch as a Black Series review? I did, however, I didn't do it at this set, where I review it and you can see me in the video, and I figured Moloch deserves a re-review. I mean, I gave one to Zeb, Akbar, and Thrawn. The only two left are Moloch and Jar Jar, so yeah, Moloch deserves one. Anyway, this figure is very, very, very great, okay? Like, the detailing on this figure is great. His clothing looks... Great, I mean, just, this figure is great. That's kind of the best way I can put it. Uh, for example, let's just start with his look. For, like, just his look. That's what we're going to start with. We'll come to accessories and features that this figure comes with, but for right now, we're just going to start with his look. This looks like Moloch does from Solo, and Moloch is a character in two scenes, the beginning scene and the chase scene through Corellia. That's it. And yet this looks exactly like him. This is an entirely new mold that they created for a character. Like, this is a new body, new head and everything. They didn't just make a new head. They made an entire new body sculpt for him. And it looks great. I mean, there's so much detailing everywhere. These tubes, the, this robe looks like it's an actual robe that he's wearing and everything. There's dirt marks on the side of his head here. And on the other side, too, and it's just, it's, it's great. These little tube things on his head here that stick out. Uh, his cloak, or like robe, you can, you can make it like this and fold out or in, or his arms are movable. And then this is something that I bet you probably didn't even know. Moloch doesn't have legs. He's more insect than you'd think. Like, look at this. That's what he looks like. He does not have legs. And that is something that they incorporated into this figure. Like, this figure includes so much extra detail, and it did such a great job of it. But unfortunately, this figure didn't sell well. And we'll get into that later. Uh, so now we're going to go on to accessories. And for his one accessory, Moloch has his stick that he uses. And it's really cool. Like, look at all the detailing they put on to just the stick around here. That looks great. And then on the bottom, it's just like an average... It's just a stick he uses to beat people around. But then his other accessory is his blaster that he has. And he's like the only guy that works for Lady Proxima that has a blaster. So it's really cool that his blaster, you'd expect to like her, her muscle to have a big gun. No, he's got this little gun, but since nobody on Corellia really has a blaster, this is taken seriously. Anyway, uh, the blaster is a unique mold, and it has a holster on Moloch that it fits into perfectly. Like so, just the blaster fits just right in here. It's a little difficult with me wearing a Mando helmet, but point is, is like, the blaster fits into his holster perfectly. I don't have trouble putting it on. It looks great. And then it fits into his hand just great, it, just, as, just as easy. It fits right into his hand. But now, I'm not even done, because I haven't even gotten to the best feature that this figure comes with. His mask. Now, like in the movie, you can make it that his mask folds out and you can see Moloch's eyes. But not only that, the mask also can show you his entire face by the fact that this leans down like how it does in the movie. I mean, they went above and beyond with this figure. It looks just like how Moloch does. His face, very accurate. And then on top of that, his head can move around inside of the mask. I can move his head in here to give him different facial expressions, basically. And this figure has surprisingly... I mean, it's not the best for posability because he doesn't have legs, and so his torso can't move. 
but his arms, they can move, his head can move, and that's pretty cool for a character in only two scenes. Now, I think we should get into the box, and then I will get into how I was planning on making this video different. Uh, for starters, I like this box. It's a massive box for a big figure. I mean, Moloch's figure is pretty big, so he should have a big box. That's how big this thing is. This thing is like three Black Series boxes wide. And then it's just like, it, this is a massive box for Moloch. On the side here, they tried to put his full name, but all they got in was Mala. Yeah, all they got in was, they didn't even get the full C in. They got Malo. Malo. Uh, strangely enough, he doesn't have a number. That's something that some Black Series figures in the Red Wave do, where they won't have a number, but it's very strange that Moloch doesn't have one. On the back, same picture as the front, and it's a very nice image of him with his mask, and it's very cool. On the side, just plain red, no number. And on the front, the picture. Where, of course, the store employee put a sticker over it. I love how that is the case with no matter what store you go to, they always put a sticker on your box. <sighs> anyway, this box is really great, and uh, I think that this figure should have worked. I mean, it's very accurate to Moloch, but the thing is, is that Moloch isn't really a character that most people would want to buy. Now, I have a way that they could have solved this. If they're going to make him $35, which is like Zeb's price, or a bigger character, and they're doing it off of a character that's got two scenes in a movie that is very underrated, but not many people watched and liked. I personally love Solo. However, not many people do. Yes, Moloch is not going to do well as a figure. What I would have done is include some of those hounds that he sends after Han and Kyria on Corellia. I mean, Infus Ness didn't sell too good because they made it instead of just Infus Ness, you have to buy an Infus Ness speeder that includes her. Now, instead of that, Moloch is just Moloch. What they could have done is include Moloch's pet hounds that he sets loose to chase after Han and Kyria, because we don't have a Star Wars hound. And they're free, and they show up in all kinds of stuff. They're in Clone Wars, Solo, like there's all these different space dogs. Bad Batch has one. The point is, is that we could get these space dogs with the Moloch figure, and it would probably help it with sales. But we didn't get one, and so Moloch didn't sell well. At least that's what I think would have helped it sell well. Moloch didn't sell well, and I actually bought one of these figures. I think this is a great figure. I mean... It's really great, in my opinion, at least. I know that not everybody's going to want a Moloch figure because, hey, why would a Star Wars character that's in maybe one or two scenes sell very well? Wait, Boba Fett sells well. Greedo sells well. Anyway, um, yeah, this Moloch figure is really great, and I'm just going to show the face for the at signing off on this video. Yeah. I think it's really great, it's got a lot of good features, the box is really nice, and yeah, I wish it sold better, because then it wouldn't just be at Ollie's and everywhere like that, but, like Five Below and Ollie's, but that's not the case. Anyway, before I go, this, is, this figure is a 10 out of 10 in my book, but even I have to admit that it wouldn't sell well, so I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. But in my opinion, it's a 10 out of 10. <sighs> this is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh, wait, sorry. Before I go, isn't it, you know, if I had a nickel for every time I did a Moloch Black Series review before I did a Vader one, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. Anyway, this is Grand Admiral Thrawn signing off. Looking forward to our next encounter in my next video. And if you have a Black Series figure you want me to review, let me know down in the comments by suggesting a character. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.